Hey, what's going on? Luke here, and we're here to do my tips and predictions for State of Origin Game 3 2022. The Decider. Queensland won the first game, New South Wales won the second. The Decider is here, it's at Suncorp, and normally I'd probably go into this video saying, yeah, Queensland definitely going to win this one, but there's been some very, very dramatic scenes. Karen Munster, Mario Tuolangi ruled out due to COVID. Obviously, look, I'll be honest, Tuolangi, good player, but not really too concerned with that one. I think they're going to bring in Corey Oates, I believe. Um, so it's pretty, it's a pretty decent little replacement there. But Cameron Munster is the big one. Plenty of choices for Queensland. Actually, there's not really a lot of choices. Now, they brought in Tommy Dearden, who's been fantastic for the Cowboys. Still fairly... I don't want to say unproven, but he's not exactly a rookie, but he hasn't really been around for a long time. I mean, it's only this year that he's really established himself as like an out-and-out -out first grader. He's sort of been in and out at the Broncos. Comes to the Cowboys, along with Chatty Townsend, who's actually been caught into the New South Wales squad, I believe. Um, just a lot of great scenes for the Cowboys. If you're a Cowboys fan, you're absolutely flying at the moment. But Tommy Dearden looks like he's going to get his debut. Uh, the, uh, the other option, and whether Tom Dearden gets his debut or not, I think he'll either end up on the bench or start. Like, I think he is going to be playing. Um, but it's just a matter of... Does he actually get the number six? Or I don't even know if you're aware of the number six, but does he get into the starting side? Because Ben Hunt is there. Ben Hunt is capable. I know Ben Hunt is a fantastic hooker, but at club land, he plays in the halves. And he's played in the halves before for Queensland. And I thought he's done an okay job there as well. I know everyone always likes to uh, shit talk Ben Hunt and say how he can't do this, he can't do that, he's overpaid, he's not a good player. But the dude is, I think he was leading the Dally M's playing at halfback. You chuck him in this Queensland side with all the other good players around him, I think he could definitely do a job for you. And also, it makes it a lot easier knowing that Harry Grant is on the bench as well. So Harry Grant coming into that side. Can he go the full 80? I don't know, but that is something they can always switch around as well. They don't seem to mind, uh, you know, experimenting the Queensland side. We saw in game one, I mean, with Harry Grant uh, and Vent Hunt, like they were just doing short little stints. So maybe they could switch things up a little bit. Harry Grant plays the whole game. Maybe Tommy Dearden comes into the halves for a little bit. Ben Hunt moves to the hooker role for a little bit and gives Harry Grant a spell. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do, and that's why it makes this little, little predictions video quite difficult because... I don't really know what they're going to do. Even for New South Wales, like Jordan McLean gets named to start. Uh, I, don't, I didn't really agree with the uh, with him actually making the side, but at the same time, he was named to start, and then all of a sudden, he's out like a couple of days later. Uh, it looks like uh, Jacob Safidi is going to make his debut. Daniel's played before. Jacob hasn't. It does get a little bit confusing at times. Uh, for me, like he's not even the best Knights prop, so it is strange to me that he he's in the New South Wales squad. I if you're going to go with any of the Knights guys, I, I personally would have went Clemmer. He's got the aggression. He's played in State of Origin before. It's been a little while, but I would have loved to have seen Big Clem back. But they have gone with Saifidi. Can't really argue with that one as well. I mean, when the other brother made his debut, I kind of said the same sort of thing. So maybe we're going to see a great performance. Looks like he's going to start on the bench and Junior Paulo is going to start. I don't really know. I don't really see the appeal of Junior Paulo um, in Origin as well. He seems like another one who kills it at club land, like a lot of the Eels guys. And then State of Origin, I don't really see a lot of it. But... Could be wrong. Hopefully, I am wrong. Hopefully, New South Wales come out and absolutely blitz him. Uh, but the reality is it's been played at Suncorp. You've got Billy Slater as the head coach. You've got all these origin legends around for Queensland. I can see them definitely being inspired. I don't see the game going how game two went. Although, I will say, for game one and game two, I've come here. I've sat in front of the camera. I've gave my predictions, and they've been completely wrong. So, take these with a grain of salt. A bit of a laugh. You can come back at the end uh, after the game, after the series is done. And uh, we can have a laugh at my predictions at how bad they are or how accurate they are. So let's go ahead. Let's get into the predictions. So we're going to go first try scorer. First try scorer, I'm going to go with... Let's go with Brian Toto. I think New South Wales might get off to a strong start. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I don't know if that's me just, just hoping, but yeah. I'm hoping Brian Toto gets off to a good start um, and, and gets a nice little try off that le up that left edge. That is where I think the Blues need to strike. Game one, they're lethal. Game two, they're lethal. If Jerome Lemire has a good game, the rest of them are going to be... They'll be licking their lips. I think Matty Burton's going to have a big one. I think Brian Toy is going to be good. He's going to be solid. And um, yeah, I'm going to get, get him for first try scorer. Last try scorer, I can see being a Blues as well. <sighs> Do I go Queensland? I don't know. Let's go with the Blues. Let's go with Matt Burton to be the last try scorer. Uh, I'm, I'm really liking that left edge. They've been so lethal in game one and game two, whether it was Jack White, whether it was Matt Burton. Uh, they've really, really struggled to contain them. So I can see it being one of those sort of guys. Although the last try scorer seems to be someone random, I feel like. Uh, it's usually like a forward or something. I don't know if I'm just making that up top of my head, but that's what it feels like. Just like that's when your random forwards start to score, especially in Origin. If it is close, if it's, uh, sorry, if it's not close, we'll start to see the random scoring. Um, but we will get to the scoreline eventually. Uh, man of the match. I'm going to go with 
James Tedesco. I think Tedesco really stood up in, in, in the first couple of games. He always does for State of Origin. Uh, for New South Wales, the captain, he leads like a captain. I'm not going to say he is the best player, but he is right up there. Um, between him and Nathan Cleary, I think either one of them, because I'm, I'm predicting a uh, Blues win, if you can't tell. I've predicted a lot of uh, a Blues first try scorer, last try scorer. Now the man of the match. You can see where I'm going here. And a pure, it purely comes down to the fact that Cameron Munster is out. If Cameron Munster plays... I am 99% sure I would be taking Queensland, but he's just so influential, and I know they can win without him, obviously, but at the same time, I just think New South Wales will be too strong. So I've gone with James Desco for man of the match. I think he's just going to have so many strong carries, um, and I think he's going to be super hard to stop, and he's going to get Queensland on the back foot, and I feel like uh, it's going to get the, the forwards on a roll on for the Blues, and it's just it's all going to have the domino effect, and I think it's all going to start with Tedesco. So I think he will end up getting the man of the match. Uh, him or Cleary anyway. So it's usually one of those sort of positions. And then we're going to go with the actual winner. Like I said, the Blues. I think the Blues are going to win this one. I think it is going to be 1-12. I think it is going to be fairly close, but also like not fairly close. Uh, I feel like the scoreline might not be... Not, not a blowout or anything. I think Queensland will be in it. I feel like at times, like towards the end, we'll be going, oh man, Queensland could snag this one. They could really do it. But I think New South Wales will sort of just... Pull away enough where it's somewhat comfortable, but not completely comfortable. Um, but I don't expect, I don't expect Queensland to win this one. Now that Munster is out, I've already said it. I say it again. He's just, he's just too bloody good. He's so good. We've seen in the past when nothing's happening. Cameron Munster just throws those wild dummies to absolutely no one, and they still fall for it. He's that damn good. Um, and also, Origin Munster is a different level of beast. He's just, he's unreal. So the fact that they're going from Munster to Maybe Tom Dearden, maybe Ben Hart, we don't really know. I think it is a lot of pressure, especially if it is Tommy Dearden. Like, if Tommy Dearden does play and does start, New South Wales 13 plus. Like, I'm just saying, like, I, I feel like this could bite me on the arse here. Uh, you know, a little bit too much confidence, maybe, but Tom Dearden being good for the Cowboys and being good for Queensland, two different things. We've seen plenty of players be able to, to be good. I mean, how many years did Mitchell Pearce look good for the Roosters come in, get chucked into the, to the deep end, and just sink? So... Probably wouldn't like to see Tom Dearden have that happen to him, but I can see it happen. So uh, I think the Suncorp crowd is going to play a bigger part than a lot of the players even. I don't know if that makes sense, but the Suncorp crowd just inspires them so much. So I think that's what's going to keep the scoreline fairly close, if anything. So yeah, New South Wales 1-12. We're going to go an actual scoreline. Let's go like a 18-8. We'll go 18-8. Let's go with that one. Maybe a penalty goal for Queensland somewhere. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be something along the lines of that. And yeah, obviously, New South Wales pick up the victory. A 2-1 victory, uh, winning the overall series. <laughs> don't know if that's a reflection on Brad Fittler, um, some of the team changes. But yeah, I am hoping that New South Wales win this one. Could be talking with my heart rather than my head, but those are my tips and predictions. Um, I gave you my scoreline, gave you my you know man of the match, first try scorer, last try scorer. For an anytime try scorer, I feel like you might be tempted to chuck in maybe like a Selwyn Cobbo or someone. So if you're, if you're having some bets out there, maybe a little Selwyn Cobbo uh, anytime try scorer action. But um, yeah, just in terms of the actual game itself, those are my tips and predictions. Let me know in the comment section below, what are your tips and predictions for State of Origin Game 3 2022? Expecting New South Wales to win, expecting Queensland to win. I'm expecting a little bit of hostility with this video. It may be in the comments. Got, got some Queensland fans, got some New South Wales fans. This is when it really matters. This is when it counts. Game 1 and Game 2, they're great and all, but when it comes to a decider, Game 3, that's what you want as a fan of the game. That's what you want as a fan of New South Wales, fan of Queensland, a fan of rugby league in general, especially at Suncorp Stadium. The atmosphere is going to be electric. It's going to be a great game regardless, even if the quality of the game isn't that great. Just the crowd, just the pressure, the, the intensity of Origin, it's going to bring it all together. So... Yeah, I'm expecting big things for State of Origin. Hopefully you are too, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below, like I said, your predictions and, and, and tips and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, hopefully you did enjoy it. Make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to use the notification bell. Don't rely on the sub boxes. Use the notification bell and never miss any of my videos. Also, way out it, go ahead and chuck me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT for the most part. My Facebook's Mr. Luke, but everything else including Snapchat, Cleaning TikTok is Miss Luke and YT. Give me a follow, give me an ad. Also, go ahead and become a member of the channel. We have a hell of a lot of members at the moment. Shout out to everybody who's been gifting them. Matt Galaxy, King Aurelius, shout out to you, man. Much appreciated. Um, if you want to become a member as well, click on the link in the description below. It'll take you straight to where you need to sign up. Or just come to the live stream. That seems to be where it's all going on. Definitely come to the live stream as well. Uh, but guys, that's how I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more content on the channel. Going to be posting some more State of Origin stuff. So stay tuned for that. 
But uh, for this one, it's over, and I'll see you in the next one. See you.